Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP, and this is part two of uh, where ADM files have trouble and what you can do to fix it video series. So uh, in the last video, you, you saw me deliver uh, some settings using ADM files, but uh-oh, we learned that ADM files don't actually perform, well, their job. They don't consistently re-deliver settings, and they don't perform UI lockout. And we learned how a utility like Policy Pack can actually deliver those settings and actually perform UI lockout. So in this video, let's take it to the next level. Let's understand um, the idea of delivering and undelivering settings. So let me create a new group policy object here called uh, Control Panel Smackdown. All right. So here's Control Panel Smackdown. It's linked over to my East Sales users. I'll click Edit here, and under uh, User Side Policies Admin Templates Control Panel, I'm going to prohibit access to the Control Panel, and I'll enable that guy and click OK. So you can see that 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 setting is now enabled. And here's my WinZip ADM file, and I've already configured this guy to deliver four uh, checkboxes here. I did this in the last video as well. So I've delivered uh, delivered that checkbox, that checkbox, that checkbox, and that checkbox. So let's whoops. So let's go ahead and log on to, uh, as some user who's never logged on before. East Sales user four. So we'll let him log on. And we're going to verify that two things have taken place. Well, thing number one is, uh, well, we said no control panel. So let's right click and go to personalize, and that is the control panel. And boom, you can see that the control panel has been restricted on this computer because this application, which is Windows Explorer, he knows what to do uh, when he gets the signal of, you know, no control panel set to one. If we go, and that, by the way, that's a real bug inside of uh, Windows 7. Uh, uh, this is nothing special. So let's go. Uh, let's go over to WinZip again. Since this guy has never logged on before, uh, we will in fact see that those settings will have been delivered using the ADM file. As we saw in the last video, if the user unchecks the checkboxes, I'll just unselect two of them for fun, the top two, and click OK. There's nothing preventing the user from, from doing that, and there's nothing in the box that prevents the, well, that will reinstate those settings. And we learned in the last video, again, if you log off and log back on or run GP update, it doesn't actually solve your problem. It doesn't actually re-deliver those settings. So again, this was all covered in the last video. I'm kind of beating a dead horse here. I'm sorry about that, but you can see. Group policy is not re-delivering those settings from those ADM or ADMX files. The other half of the equation, and that's what we want to talk about here in this video, is what happens when settings no longer reply. So let's do two experiments at the same time to save a little time. I'll close this out, and in fact, I'll log off. I'll go back over to my group policy editor here, and I will right-click over each of these group policy object links, and I will uncheck link enable. Now, the technical term for what I'm doing is called making these GPOs fall out of scope of management. Now, there's a lot of ways a GPO could fall out of scope of management. You could delete the GPO. You could move the guy from sales to marketing. You could unlink it like I did here. But you can see that I have um, I've unlinked Control Panel Smackdown and use uh, WinZip ADM. Now, I know your expectation. Your expectation is when the guy logs on the next time after group policy applies or group policy updates in the background, well, then those restrictions should be lifted and things should revert back. Unfortunately, it's only half true. So let's show the control panel. If I go to right click and go to personalize, does this work? You bet. So the, the, the delivery of the restriction has been removed. The group policy engine knows what to do, and it, pro and it removes the restriction. Let's go to WinZip. Remember, we had all four checkboxes checked. The user, with their shenanigans, worked around two checkboxes. Is your expectation that well, maybe all four checkboxes should be reverted back now. That's what I would think would happen. So if I go to options config and go to passwords, uh-oh, that's exactly not what happens. And in fact, you've heard this phrase before. You've heard the phrase registry tattooing. You've heard that phrase before. And what this means is that the group policy engine for um, ADM and ADMX files, when the application doesn't support its stuff in what's called the proper policies keys, 
what ends up happening is that this stuff is just left behind. The group policy engine knows how to deliver the setting, but it doesn't know how to revert the setting. It knew how to revert the setting for the control panel stuff, but it doesn't know how to do it for your applications. And that is the big problem here. So what we're going to do next is learn how to work around this. And this is where Policy Pack comes in. So Policy Pack is a uh, both a free community mode and a commercial application. So let me go ahead and we'll reutilize the lockdown WinZip using Policy Pack edict here. And let's, uh, let's dive down under Policy Pack Applications. Uh, as you saw me do in the last video, uh, Policy Pack ships with over 50 pre-configured uh, important packs for applications that you have that are both registry and non-registry based. But for the purposes of this talk, we'll continue to use WinZip here. And uh, let's go over to our passwords guy over here. So Policy Pack is delivering all four of these checkboxes, it's also going to hide corresponding controls and also disable corresponding controls. And as we saw in the last video, we're also going to perform ACL lockdown. In other words, user shenanigans can't even occur during the session. Um, I'm going to make this an important setting like 11 as well. And remember, the default value was 8. So I'm going to make this setting also while I'm here. Check this out. Revert the setting to the default value when it's no longer applied. Ah, ha, very critical. So for that setting, I'll make it revert when it's no longer applied. And I'll also do it for, say, the first, uh, the first, no, maybe these last two. Why not? Revert the policy setting when it's no longer applied. Oh, what, why not? I'll do it for all of them. Revert when they're no longer applied. Because that's what we're driving at here. You don't want these settings to, you know, tattoo on the target machine. If you delivered it, that's great. If the setting, if the group policy object no longer applies because the guy changed job roles, then it should revert back. And that is the policy pack superpower we want to talk about here. So let's go ahead and run GP update here. We'll get the settings delivered using policy pack. We'll do the UI lockdown that only policy pack can do. We'll do the, we'll do the ACL lockdown that only policy pack can do. And the offline enforcement that Policy Pack can do, and the reversion that only Policy Pack can do. So let's go ahead and run WinZip here. Go to Options Config, go over to Passwords, and boom. So we can see Policy Pack has, in fact, delivered all the settings just the way we want to. As we saw in the last video, if a user tries to uh, do some shenanigans and try to work around your settings, well, we are actually locking down the application in real time so the user can't work around it. But now in this video, what I want to show you is what happens when the, when the GPO no longer applies. So you can see it's set to 11 and four checkboxes are checked. Well, when I used ADM files, what happened? Well, when I used ADM files, what happened was that those settings just simply tattooed on my target machine. Not good. So instead, with Policy Pack, I'm right clicking over the GPO and unlinking it, or the guy's changing job roles, or whatever. We'll run GP Update to simulate what happens here, or we could log off or log back on, same idea. And when we do, now what is your expectation? Should should things tattoo the registry and stick around and, and be there for the for the end of time confusing the user? Or when we run WinZip, go to Options Config, go to Passwords, boom, we've Policy Pack has unchecked all four of those checkboxes and reverted the password length that was 11 directly down to eight. They didn't tattoo it, uh, didn't leave it behind. It's exactly what your expectation is. So if you have people changing job roles or you're creating and deleting group policy objects, only Policy Pack will actually revert the setting instead of tattooing it or leaving it behind the way, unfortunately, ADM and ADMX files do. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, Policy Pack uh, has a free uh, download uh, after watching the full webinar. And I hope I'll see you over there for that. Thanks so much. Take care.